Hey there, Kelly Weston here with the Weston team at People's Mortgage. The Supreme Court has denied the plan to wipe out $400 billion in student loan debt. What does that mean for those that have student loan debts? Well, if you have student loans, you've gotten used to almost four years of non-payments, and those are now going to be due starting October 1st. So that is less than three months away. If you've not started budgeting or saving that money, you need to do so and quick. People have been saving an average of $400 a month for the last 40 months. And if you've not been putting that money away, you need to start budgeting now. What does this mean if you're trying to buy a house? Well, there's a few things to be aware of. Since student loan debts have been in forbearance so long, no payments have been reported. So lenders have used a certain percentage of your balance. The percentage is, depends on what type of loan that you're getting and will hit you with that percentage of your balance based on your debt to income ratio. If you close by the end of September, that rule is still in place. If you close after October 1st or later, then we will need to determine what your student loan payment when then will be. The biggest issue is a lot of these federal student loans have been delinquent, but they have not been reporting lates or delinquencies for almost four years. So if you are delinquent on your federal loans and you want to close on a home with an FHA loan after October 1st, you have to be brought into good standing. This could mean a pretty hefty check to write, which most people do not have. So if this is you and you want to buy a home, you need to do so quick. They are also saying that they will give people time before they start reporting them late and give them a chance to get ready for their payments and start making payments since it's been so long since people haven't had to. But keep in mind, it does not matter what the student loan company says or what the president says. If there's any lates or delinquencies that show up on your credit report, then that will throw a big wrench in you qualifying for a house. We as lenders have to go off of what's reported on the credit report, so keep that in mind. There are creative ways that if you're in good standing on how to get your student loan payments down so you can qualify for a home. So give us a call and we'd be happy to discuss your specific situation. I know this is a ton of information, so as always, call us with any questions. We're here to help with all of your mortgage needs across 39 states. Call or text us 602-888-6655 because here at the Weston team, others promise we deliver.